Radio USA too. My name is Marzi Ike Peters. Ike Peters, I hail from Newi, Newi, Sinewi province of Biafra land. We're broadcasting one more time live from New York City. Under the auspices of our mother station, Radio Biafra London, our leader's name is Marzi Namdikano. And before we proceed, let us all bow our heads and let our leader, Marzi Namdikano, lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Without whom we cannot function, and unto him we give every honor and every adoration, wherever you are, I will ask you, if you are in the spirit to remain so, if you are outside the spirit, we ask you to come into it, because what we are preaching from here is a gospel of redemption, as directed by Chikuki Kabiyama himself in heaven, and this very gospel, we must preach it. Therefore, we must pray. We give thanks unto thee, O Elohim, for there is none like thee. There can never be any like thee. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Our lives are in the palm of your hands. We commit all that we are unto thee. We have come, as the ancients did before us, as our ancestors did before we came, to offer praise and adoration unto your holy name and no other. For we do not worship any idol. We do not worship anything born of a human being. We do not worship anything carved out of a tree. We do not bow down before anything molded with the hands of men. It's only thee that we worship. That is why we have come this very evening on this hallowed platform that you yourself created to offer you unadulterated praise and to hand over to thee all that we can ever become because Biafra is yours. This very family of IPOB, you molded yourself. You decreed that IPOB must come and now that we have come that we may worship thee, O Elohim, please accept our offering of praise and sacrifice unto your holy name because there is no other like thee we will continue to adore thee we will continue to worship thee and as i said before and i will reiterate as we pray unto thee that biafra is your possession we will sacrifice biafra unto thee that you may guide us in all that we do you is only you that sees the hearts of men. If there is anything that we are hiding, if there is anything that we have concealed from our people, oh Elohim, you will judge us very harshly. But if our hands are clean, our hearts very pure, you will bless IPOB. And you will bless me. And you will bless my family because it's a promise from you. All our hope and our trust is upon thee. May your name be glorified. May you be exalted. May you, O Elohim, be praised. Now and forevermore we pray. He say, He say, He say. Watching us, we hear them as they calling us miscount. 
jobless, terrorists, scammers, it's our real name. We are the misfront, we are jobless, and we are terrorists, we are scammers. We must scam you, of all you scam us. Old fools, empty brains, old fools, sold your souls for cheeky change. Proudly, to the full of maze, we must get you down. Oh, they say, oh, they say, in your shit. No forgiveness. No forgiveness. We must get you down. Oh, it's about to us. Do your worst. Come do your worst. The governors, you sold us out. Evil kings, hungry fools, slave kings, shameless fools, brought evil men to Jeffrey Land, a holy land, a blessed land to kill us all. Then you will be a bill of Piafra rising. Oh, this is, oh, this is in your shit. Oh, this is, oh, what I can say. This year, I say this year, I say freedom for me, for you, wake up, stand up, he do, he got a, a kiss in our hands, we open, we enter, this year, those of you know us, the kings. Came, there was nobody like us. Now that we are here, they pretend, they copy, they emulate, they fabricate falsehood. But they can never be like us. Long after we are gone, they will wish we lived forever. IPOB is very special. Exceptionally special. The largest mass movement in the whole world bar none. And we did it because Chukwoki Kabiyama is with us. We did it because Chukwoke Kabiyama created IPOB himself. And we are here to pilot its affairs. We will not prevaricate. We will not stop. We will not slumber until Biafra is fully restored to its former glory. Anybody in doubt as to our resilience and our determination to restore Biafra is not only mistaken not only misguided but needs to see a psychiatrist because we are not stopping i am on namde khan and i don't stop until i get what i want
One more time and say good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening, depending on wherever your domicile. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. My name is Marzi Ike Peters. I hail from Newi. We are broadcasting live as usual from New York City under the auspices of our mother station, Radio Biafra London. Our leader's name is Mazin Namdekano. This morning we gathered again for Freedom Fighting Radio. I will keep on talking freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom is our goal. Let me remind you one more time that Biafra is our religion. Radio Biafra is where we worship. So gather together this morning. We're going to give you a few clips, a few news back uh, in the zoo. People are being killed, you know, left, right, and center. And you also call president. <laughs> He's being given the honor of being given a date where he's going to speak to the National Assembly. They went to him, they spoke to him, but they, they, they don't want to embarrass him by giving him a date. You guys are foolish, all of you. I don't understand it. He should be the one that is coming out to speak to the people that are, people are being murdered. Al Jazeera is reporting 110. The other news media, some are saying 174. Nigerian government says, no, 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 we didn't kill up to that. We only killed 30. <laughs> Father, good morning. Are you there? Let's, let's good morning. Start. Good morning, uh, Mars Peters. Welcome to the program. Thank you very, very much for having me. There you and uh, my special regards to all the Biafrans, especially IPOB members all over the world. Uh, my name is Reverend Father Augustine Adinagwa. Father Adinagwa is from Orauku in Idemili, Biafra land. I live here in New Jersey and I serve the indigenous, uh, indigenous people of Biafra in the best of my capabilities. Once again, good morning everyone. Of course, depending on your location around the world. I have been mandated by a committee which I have, which I headed, I got new to head, that was looking into the issue between Mazen Nam Dekano and Uchenefo until last Sunday when we had a Zoom meeting that put a lot of people off. And so the, the committee has requested me to let our people know that somebody somewhere was aware that there was a problem between our leader, Mazen Nam Dekano and Uche Mefo, and we were doing something until what happened on Sunday happened. First of all, I want to make this clearly known to everyone. Both the committee members, including myself, Madam Bridget Okafo, the leader of the Biafra women in, in, in the U.S., and the, one of us, a doctor from Texas, who is well known to the IPOP members, especially Mazen Nam Dekano and Uche Mefo, is a very honorable man, very quiet, but very, very uh, gifted in wisdom. Three of us were the members of the committee. And um, we have unreserved respect and love for Mazen Nam Dekano and Uche Mefo. And we shall ever remain grateful to them for the marvelous work they have done in bringing this Biafra struggle to this point, in spite of all odds. And so it pained us when we learned that there was a problem between them. As a matter of fact, it was Madame Bridget Okafo who, in her wisdom, was asking herself, how come our leader has not broadcast and Uche Mefo is not on the air, has not been on the air for a while. 
Is there something wrong? Are they, are they, are they sick or something? She decided to find out what was going on. And she called whichever phone she couldn't get through. Probably the number was changed. She remembered that he had, she had um, her wife's number. So she called he, uh, uh, sorry, his wife's number. So he called his wife and got the wife. The wife told, he told her that the number has, has changed. He gave her the current phone number for Mazu Jennifer. And she called and got Uchene 4 on the line. And Uchene 4 started narrating a lot of issues to her. At a point, she was like, Uchene 4, I hope you don't mind um, if I bring in Father Augustine or the Mimegwa and uh, this other doctor for his own interest. He didn't want me to mention his name. Which of had no problem with it. So Madam Bridget Okafor brought us into the line and called Which of back and told him, can you repeat what you are telling me? And Which of narrated a whole lot of things that were going on between him and Mazen Namdekano and the members of DOS and other issues. At the point, I, so I told him, uh, Maz, if you don't mind, can you be more specific instead of making general statements? Because we are not here to listen to you. We are here to find out exactly what happened. We want to get to the root of the problem and possibly do our best to resolve the issue between both of you so that we can move on. Because it will, be, it will be almost incomprehensible for the people following you of you to hear that you are having this, this type of problem if it comes out in the public domain. And he obliged and started itemizing the major concerns. And in the end, we had four of them, which I will not mention on the air because of confidentiality, which the committee has insisted upon. But at the end of the day, at, at the end of his story, at the, his story, we were very, very path pathetic. And we commended him for his patience, for remaining consistent in spite of all odds, and committed to the goal of achieving the, the restoration of Biafra. At the same time, we made it clearly known to him that in Igbo adage, Ade Bioku, Non Wofonya, that we are going to take back all these complaints to Mazen Namdekano and hear his own side of the story. But we gave him an assurance that every single one of these major four issues he raised will be addressed and satisfactorily handled so that we can move forward because, because we have come a long way. He was okay he was okay with our meeting with him. He was grateful. In the end we spent more than two hours with him on those issues. But I wouldn't forget that then on a couple of times he mentioned that we have passed this stage. And when I asked him what you mean by that we are past this stage, he said, well, this thing has been having, happening for a while. I said, we do respect, we have no idea. We thought everything was, you, you, you are mature enough, Mama Sunnamlekan is mature enough, we thought you are handling whatever issues that come between you. If not that this, uh, Madam Bridget decided to fact check out on you guys, we, we will not know. And now that we have known, we are going to make, put everything possible, every effort possible to get to the root of it and make sure that every single one of them is addressed.
to everybody's satisfaction. And so we left. This was on Saturday, the 14th of November. And then we reached out. We started reaching out to Onyendu. Uh, my son now became the leader of IPOB. And eventually succeeded in securing an appointment with him. And we made it clearly known to him. This is not going to be a 10 to 15 minutes appointment. No. We need at least an hour, 30 minutes to two hours. Because we want us to meticulously address every concern that we can have raised. Because we are looking for the cost, for the, for the, for the solution. And our effort is to make sure that we work out a workable relationship between both of you so that you take us to the end of the journey, which is already near. He said, okay, that we should give him time to look at his schedule. And then eventually, he came up with um, Sunday, the November 22nd, 8 a.m. in the morning. He said you have sufficient time, that time, to meet with us. This was, we were able to secure this time on Wednesday, either Wednesday or Thursday of, of last, last week. So when we secured the time, we called um, Mazu Jennifer back and told him we have secured an appointment with Mazu Nam the on the, on the, on Sunday, November 22nd by 8 a.m. in the morning, New York time which will be 2 p.m. Biafran time. And we assured him that as soon as we finish with Mazin and Mandicano, we will get back to him. We are going to present his own complaints to him and then find out if he has anything against you. And then we are going to get back to him, to you, to let you know what he said in case you have any counter motion to whatever he said. And then eventually we shall work out a time to meet, to have a joint meeting where both of you will be on the line with, uh, with the committee. At that point in time, everybody will be able to say his mind. Even if you want to, even if you want to shout or you want to curse one another, you can do it. We'll be present with you guys that day. But at the end of the day, we will make sure that the, the, the whole thing is resolved so that we can move forward. So this was on when, either Wednesday or Thursday. And then, on Saturday morning, Saturday morning, that was, um, I think, on the, on, the, on the 24th or so, I woke up on Saturday morning, then I saw a, 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 an invitation to a Zoom meeting that was coming from Mazu Jennifer. An invitation. And I saw that it's an open invitation. I called the person who sent me the invitation. He said, yeah, he want, uh, Jennifer wants us to be distributing it to everybody. I said, okay, thank you very much. I just want to let you know that I got it. So on the second thought, I asked myself, what would this Zoom meeting be all, be all about? I hope it is not related to his, the issue he is having with Mars with Mar and Nam Dekano. Because of that, I said I'm not giving, I don't want to take chances. So I called one of the Uchene Force um, childhood friend who lives in New York, who is also from the same town with him, that in close friends. I called him and said, this is the invitation I got from Uchebe for that is calling a Zoom meeting. He said, yes, he, ha he, he got it. I said, please, let me tell you this. We discovered that Uchebe for has been having a problem with Mazen Namdekano the previous Saturday. And we spent more than two hours with Uchebe for. And he told us everything that he could remember was going on between them. And we assured him, I told him that as a brother, we are from the same area, no, Rukunaba, Tetenalo. These three towns have a lot in common, including marriage. 
and we have always related as brothers. I assured him, I said, brother, that I will make sure that we get to the end of all these issues. I said, this is what I want you to do for me. He was happy to hear that we are duped into the, to the issue. Maybe he already knew that there was a problem. So he assured me that he was, I said, this is what you want to do for me. Call Ucheme for immediately and tell him that Father Augustine sent to you to plead with him. If this Zoom meeting was going to be, was going to relate to his, to the issues he's having with Martin Namdekano, please, Please, let him suspend it for now, since we're already looking into the, into the issue, into the problem. He said, sure, I will, I will do that, I will do that as soon as I came out of money mass. He was going for money mass. And when he came out, he called him. And I know he spent quite a length of time with him. When, uh, I mean, looking at when he called me back, because I told him, as soon as you finish, call me back. To let me know what what he, what he said, and he called me back a little uh, a little bit later, and told me, uh, Father, I, I tried my best. Unfortunately, he refused. He said he was going on with the with the Zoom conference, and he sounded very angry. I said it's okay. I'm going to call him myself directly. So, on a second thought. I, th I said, let me let, let the members of the committee know. So I called the members of the committee and let them know what was going on. But then Bridget confirmed that he got the, that she got the Zoom meeting invitation. And we said, we have to call him immediately. So we called the Jennifer again and luckily got him on the line. And we spent more than three hours trying to Persuade him, plead with him, convince him on the need to postpone the Zoom meeting. And we specifically made it known to him that millions of people are following him and Mazen Nandekano, not Father Adimewa. And yet they have a responsibility. You cannot guarantee, once you go on this Zoom, open Zoom meeting, there is no guarantee that this is not going to get out in the public public domain. And if people hear it, that we are having a problem with Mazen Nandekano, they will not be listening to who is right or wrong. They will be so devastated. Please, find it within your heart to reconsider this meeting and reschedule it. Give us a week or two so that we can come to the to the end to the to the end of the process we have already started. We pleaded Madame Bridget to Kafu was all over herself, pleading, tell telling Mazu Jennifer that he was kneeling down and begging him, please, that if this thing gets out, it was going to be a disaster. Which Jennifer kept saying, I have heard you, but you remember Nobody will tell me what I will do, what I can do. I have overgrown that. I have been hearing all the, all, all that, uh, for, 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 for a long time now, uh, that something will be done or something will not, not be done. You said yet, we quite understood, we quite understood that you have, you have been hurting. But remember, you are not alone. This is freedom fighting. This is not, this is not, this is not an, organiz an ordinary organization. Everybody is hurting. What is going on in Nigeria is hurting everybody, even those who are not members of IPOB. And I remember telling him that, let me tell you this, in freedom fighting, the highest sacrifice is for one to give his life. It doesn't matter what effort you have put in, doesn't matter what, what effort Mazen Nandekan has put in, one single person who has put in his life, for this struggle, he has sacrificed more than two of you. And what we are telling you is not about you, Amazon Namdekano. It's about millions of these people who have sacrificed their lives, probably two of you. And millions of people who will be so devastated if this thing gets out into in public. Therefore, we are giving you advice and suggestions and letting you understand 
the wider implication of what it, and the effect it might have on people if this ever gets out in the public forum. And they cannot guarantee that it will not. He said anywhere that he has heard what we said and um, he will um, think about it. But um, he keeps saying, he kept saying that as far as he is concerned, that um, we are past this stage. Madam Bridget knelt down and said, now what told her, and one of the things you mentioned is that there are people who are abandoned in, in old people, in the hospitals who cannot be taken care of. You mentioned it, and that imports the heart personally. And Madam Bridget told, told with him, as we speak now, that she is donating a thousand dollars. And as soon as we finish this reconciliation process, so it is going to mobilize or uh, the, the IPO, the Biafra women. They're going to raise a sufficient amount of money to take care of those people. And the money will be handed over to you directly. So that you know how to dispense it and make sure that these people get the required attention they needed. Because the issue of Obibo took everybody by surprise. And he had, once again, she assured him that we will make sure that all these issues are addressed with Onyendu and the reconciliation reached. At the point I told you, Jennifer, when he kept insisting that, well, he's not, he's not sure whether he will postpone it. He has already scheduled it. I told you, Jennifer, we are not asking you what to do. At this point in time, we have spent more than one, two hours. We are not asking you what to do or what not to do. We are advising you. We are giving you the other side, other side of the story. The coin, which you may not, know, may not know. Please, even if you don't want to postpone this Zoom meeting for the next one week or two, why don't you get to the meeting? Let the people know that there is a trusted group that is looking into the issue between you and Mazen and Kano, for which you intend, well, for which you called the meeting. And then you want to give these people the benefit of the doubt and see what they come up with. If things don't work out fine, I, I, will, recall, I will record a meeting. For now, please, I apologize that I don't have much to say. Say, so why don't you do it? Even if you don't want to, to postpone the, the meeting, because it's too, he said, it, according to me, it's too late. I said, between Saturday and Sunday, it's not too late. So this was how we left him. He said, okay, that he was going to think about it. And then the next morning was Sunday. We met with uh, Mazen Nam the Kano at exactly 8 a.m. New York time. And we presented to him the four major points that Mazu Telefo has against him. Complaints he had against him. And the, one by one, he addressed every one of them. Gave his own side of the, sto of the, of the, of the story about every one of them. And then in the end, we said, you must have one or two things against him because we want to wrap up, we want to find a way to wrap up all these things and then move on. He said yes. He presented two major points. Two major issues he has against the Jennifer. Then we asked him a couple of questions, which he answered. And then we told him that, um, no, before we came, before we, we gave him the final word. He said that he would like us to schedule a joint meeting between him and Ucenefo. And then we can address these issues. Wherever anybody, wherever he is found guilty, that he was more than willing to apologize to Ucenefo without a waste of time. But he's also expecting us as a committee to hold him for responsible and accountable wherever he offended him and demand that he has to apologize. We said, in all honesty, you just read our mind that that was exactly going to be our next step. He said, sure, that he's more than, he's more than available and willing to, 
to to be in that joint activity before God and man. I don't I don't I'm not trying to I'm not trying to please anybody. When it comes to a matter that is so serious, I don't care who you are. It doesn't matter to me who you are, especially considering that millions of people are involved. We are not doing this. We didn't take up this challenge because of uh, uh, that man uh, uh, Nandi Kano and Uti Mifo cannot resolve their problem. No. We took it up because deep down us, we felt that we owe it as a responsibility to the millions of IPOB members and their friends in general to intervene and make sure that we get to the root of it and resolve it for a, a lasting peace and progress so that we get to the end of our journey. So it wasn't as if we are concerned whether you are the leader or not. No. We were hell bent on getting to the truth. And we will compel you to give us the truth, to give us answers where they are necessary. We were prepared for it. And we made it clearly known to them. I am I turned 61 in, in August last, in August this year. But I'm Bridget is about 63. The other guy is like 65. We are in our 60s. We have nothing to lose. We are working for the millions of people who have committed their lives in this struggle. And who have, who have shed their, their blood. So I'm not saying it because of, I want to, you know, castigate anybody. No. I am focused on the truth. And that was why I told Mazu Chenef at a point in time. We are not, we are not here to hear your story. I am looking for the facts. Unless you want to tell us the story and then we disappear. No. We are looking for the facts because we are going to intervene. We are going to do something. I am looking for the truth. So when my friend said, I would say, well, thank him for his openness and willingness for the meeting. And then we got back to him before immediately and got him on the phone again. And then we relate to him the answers that my friend kind of gave to his four complaints. He disagreed with practically everything my friend kind of said. We said, no problem. You are free to disagree with his answers and responses. And again, Mazen Nandekan has these two issues against you. What have you to say? Then he gave you his own version of the, of the story. He said, good, well, good. But now, the next step the committee has decided to take is that we're going to have a joint meeting with two of you on the line. That we're going to follow up with Mazen Nandekan. As soon as we secure a date, we're going to get back to you to confirm the date. And that date and time, we are not looking for one hour, we are not looking for two hours, we are looking for at least three good hours. Because we will be patient enough. If you, you will be very patient with all you guys because we want to get to the bottom of this. Which in a photo does well, I don't know about uh, such a meeting or about such a meeting. Um, I don't know about it. And I said, man, which in a photo, please, for goodness sake, this is not a optional. We are not even asking you to consider it. It is a must. Because we are at a critical point in this journey. And we must get to the bottom of this, of this issue. I resolve it once and for all. So that we can move forward. Please. We are not asking you whether it, you will consider it or not. It is, it is compulsory. He said, okay, I have heard you. And then before we left, him, Madam DJ Dokapo came back and said, which am I Please. I am still kneeling down and pleading with you about this Zoom, this Zoom meeting they are going to have. My mind tells, they told me, or tells, they, is telling me that this will not come out well. Please, I am pleading with you. You may say that it is late now to postpone it. Please, when you go there, know how you present your case. Know how you dismiss. Let the people know that something is already going on. Because we're getting to the, we're definitely going to solve this problem once and for all. She pleaded again. And then the other, the, the, the doctor, everybody came in again and reminding him what could be a, 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 what would be possible disastrous effect of such a uh, Zoom meeting. But if he's made up his mind, we cannot, we cannot change it. We can only suggest to him. If we can lead the horse to the stream and not to force and not force it to drink, how much more a human being, a family man, 
that no one ever won a gun a yellow group. Because millions of people are following two of you. He said, okay, he has heard what we said. By then it was about 20 minutes to, to one. So when we left him, I told, I told the committee, look, I have mass at two o'clock and I have 20 to 25 minute drive to go. So I have, we have to have, we must suspend it until afterwards we continue from where we stopped. So I rushed into my house, into my distance. I didn't know what to do. I had not, I had not showered. I had not prepared and anything. And I needed to put myself together for the mat. Then I decided to heat up some rice and stew, and then eat something. I have not eaten breakfast. So while this, when I was eating my 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 breakfast, my my my, my meal, I decided to, to rush to take shower, brush up, and take shower, dress up. As soon as I dressed up. Collected my food, I sat down. I have not eaten my food halfway. When I got a call from a priest, Father Alexander Mwangu, from Mwangu, I was like, this is a member of our group. We have a group of priests which I formed. We are about 29 of us who are passionate about Biafra and who are working and praying every day for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra. Many of them are very passionate. And he is one of them. So he called. I wanted to send a message. Father, I'll call you back in a, in a, you know, I'll, I'll call you back. You know, thinking, let me finish my meal and then collect my mask box. Once I get into the car, I call him back. But my mind kept telling me, pick this call, pick this call. Father, please pick, pick this call. So I picked the call immediately. I said, Father, what's, what's up? He said, Father, I don't know. I, Father, what is going on? Father, what is happening to us? Father, I am, I don't know what is, I, Father, I am finished. I am, we are fit. I said, Father, what is that? He said, are you listening to the before on the face, on the, on, on Facebook? I don't know what the before is saying on Facebook. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. Father, I can't tell you. I am, Father, look, I am, I am losing it now. I said, Father, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Because I felt this, this might be going into some, health or psychological problems. So I had to put Ma Madame Bridget Okafo into the, into the line. I said, Father, this is Madame Bridget Okafo, the leader of the women, women's wing, the uh, IPOB in the U.S. I said, Father, he continued, Father, please, I am needing, right now, I don't even, I can't even, I can't even, I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't even. All right, at this point, uh, I have to stop that, um, interview it's a relay i know that most of you must have heard it over and over and over again on our station so this morning i'm going to give you opportunity to talk about it to be able to air your views but you have to be respectful don't curse don't abuse we are don't let your emotions take over you just be real be civil and because people are listening to us <clears throat> but before i do that i have a few things here that i need to read up which is very interesting about the killing, the insecurity that's going on in the zoo at the moment. Somebody yesterday I was discussing with a fellow, uh, with, a, with, a, with a, a Nigerian person, and he goes, man, I am sick and tired of what is wrong with Nigeria. I said, I don't know. He said, are we, should they call us a zoo? <laughs> and I smiled at him and said, what do you mean? <laughs> call, it a zoo. call it whatever you want. But we are just in the hell of a mess because there's, Nothing is happening. Let me read this. It's very interesting. It says, insecurity. Buari has agreed. Listen to this. Buari has agreed to address representatives. Bajamila said on channel television. President Muhammad Buhari has agreed to address the House of Representatives on the state of insecurity in the country as requested by the lawmakers. He has agreed they are begging him to talk to them. You people are crazy. Hundred and something people have been murdered. This is just this is just the one that just happened. It's been happening over and over and over. And you are begging the president to come in. In a real country, one person's dead. One person. The president goes there to talk, to address the people, to, to show at least there's something wrong. Why are you people like this? What is, what is wrong with you guys? According to the Speaker of the House of Representatives, 
Honorable Femi Bajamila, a date has been agreed on and it will be communicated soon. That is the end of the story. The a date has been agreed on and that will be communicated. No, he couldn't even make a, a No, he has so much busy schedule. <laughs> the president is so busy, he can't even talk about people that they killed. He is now being begged and now he doesn't even, his schedule is so full, you know. <laughs> if he's going for another brain surgery, who knows. You know, his schedule is so full that they have to decide and just give him a chance. You know, listen, let's just keep reading. Let me keep reading. Let me not preempt. It says, he said this on Wednesday, noting that the president is more concerned than most of the, that most on the insecurity of the nation and will speak to Nigerian people through their representatives soon. No date. He was ever so ready to listen to its <laughs> listen as is typical of Mr. President, the unusual Democrat that he is, <laughs> and what he basically sought was to convey the resolution of the House and to fix a date, which we did not fix out of respect for Mr. President Nawal and his very tight schedule. Wow, I can't believe this. Yeah, President is so busy, he can't even visit the people where the citizens are murdered. We've agreed on a date, and he will meet with the House of to address the situation. But Jamila said, we have agreed on a date. What is the date? Tell us the date. The world wants to listen. Why does he want to address the House? He should address the nation, not the way he is doing it on sitting in the video, because that thing is not the president. There's no president in Nigeria. You are fooling yourselves. I think he is more concerned than me or you. That's all I can say. You know, they say, uneasy lies the head <laughs> that wears the crown. Yeah, right. We will leave everything till he comes to the house. So let me not preempt. The DS is here. The leader of the Hiratu says, here to bear me witness. He, Buari, is fully committed to security, life, and property of Nigerians. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is just something that I don't really know what to say about. They are begging him to come and address the nation. Al Jazeera reported 174 people killed. Another press reported 144. And Nigerian government is saying, no, 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 we didn't kill that much. We only killed 40. <laughs> hey, that is so. Then here's another news that says, you know, I don't want to read this. Let's Buratai says this. Listen to Buratai, if he's the one that said this. He says, the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Toko Buratai, on Tuesday, that was yesterday, said terrorism might persist in Nigeria for another 20 years. Buratai said this on his verified Facebook page, three days after Boko Haram terrorists killed scores of rice farmers in Borno State. It only depends on the level of escalation. This is Buratai saying this. Buratai, he wrote, there is general misunderstanding of what insurgents and terrorism entail. There is a likelihood of terrorism persisting in Nigeria for another 20 years. It only depends on the level of escalation and the appropriate responses by all stakeholders, both civil and military authorities, also by both local and international actors. Citizens' responsibility is equally important and imperative. All must cooperate to contain the lingering insecurity. Let there be collective action and responsibility. Meanwhile, Nigeria Army has scheduled today for the second edition of the spiritual warfare seminar to counter Boko Haram. Now they are praying to, to kill Boko Haram. They have guns and ammunition. They have helicopters and planes that they imported from foreign countries to fight Boko Haram. No, all that doesn't work anymore. Now they are resorting to prayers, to spiritual warfare against Boko Haram. I'm telling you honestly. He says, Acting Director, Army Public Relations, Colonel Sagi Musa, 
disclosed this yesterday in an invitation sent out to our correspondents. They are praying now for Boko Haram to disappear. <laughs> so what is the point of spending all that money buying guns and ammunition from America and helicopters and fighter planes and name it? Now you are resorting to your Bible. Now, wow. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> when they try, I've never seen anything like this. Is the situation is just terribly terrible, terrible. Let's see another one here before I go back into your taking your calls. And like I said today, the call is going to be based on what the Reverend Father was talking about, Austin. Um, Reverend Father Austin uh, Augustine. <laughs> Am I forgetting his last name? <laughs> Augustine Megwa. That's his name. That's Reverend Father. He spoke very eloquently, he spoke very intelligently, he said so much, and uh, I am happy that video, that uh, audio, it was the audio that I made out, I didn't make a video, and eventually the, the, uh, the thing went viral, everybody was listening to it. For me, let me, let me take a very short break and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be with you in a minute, just give me a few minutes, uh, take care of a few things, and then uh, we'll, we'll continue from where we stopped. This song is special dedicated to my supreme leader, Mazi Namdekano. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. Namdekano is an upright man. So this is real. For sure. Perfectly. What my grandmother cannot do, what my grandfather cannot do, what my own father cannot do, Namdekano do one for us. All right, sorry, sorry about that. I had to take a very short break to take care of something. So the line is open as three uh, six four six nine two zero four five four one five seven zero three five two eight four four two plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three. Like I said this morning, we're going to discuss what uh, Reverend Father Austin Megwa did and the uh, beautiful tip, beautiful thing that he said. I don't know what you can add to that really, but uh, let's just discuss it. You know, we have to give everybody opportunity to speak, to say what is happening. And uh, we are watching events as they unfold. Biafra is our goal, no matter what anybody does. These things, these, all these things that are happening, they are expected to happen. The only thing I am saying, and I keep saying it, that no matter what anybody does, whether cause or pro, you are supporting this person, supporting that one, supporting whatever you want, that's your thing. This place is like Nami alone waka come. Nami alone go waka go. So there's no point anybody. You can say what you want to say, but what I will not tolerate, and I keep saying it, is abuses and curses and saying things that you have no proof. That's not right. You don't do that over the air. We don't, I don't allow it, not because uh, anything, but I have my personal opinion, you know, and I cannot express it. I cannot bias anybody's mind. We, there's nothing, for me, as far as I'm concerned, there's, no, there's nothing that is happening. Umuri Fene Menu. Biafra is coming regardless of what anybody thinks. With, that, with or without anybody, we will achieve our goal as long as we persist. The young people in the zoo that are protesting, they are the ones that I'm even looking forward to for them to hit the street. People are dying. There is no hope, my brothers. There is no hope at all. 
to make it a ballistic thing is, is the most stupid thing anybody can do. They are killing rice farmers in the north. They kill them. Hundred and something people, they're saying it as if, even if it's chickens that you're killing, at least you kill them to eat them. These people, what is their reason for doing what they are doing? Nothing. The army is giving up hope. When they start resorting to prayer, what, what chance do you stand? Let's see, I have a call coming in. Let me take this one. Caller on principal officer's line. Good morning. You're the first caller today. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Thank you so much. Good afternoon to you, Mazi. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Greetings to you, fellow dear friends, friends of dear friends and lovers of freedom. The blessing of our Heavenly Father, Chiko Kikabiyama, will continue to be our strength and keep us moving forward. My name is Hugo, and I am calling from Enugu Province this afternoon. We must remain resolute. Resolute simply means consistently firm on the project of the restoration of our land, Biafra. It is a responsibility for every one of us. As long as you want freedom, you are welcome. You must join hand together, condemn evil, call it spade a spade. And as we are doing it, ordain it, and he will continue to support us to give us what we need. Mazi, thank you so much for your good work. And we pray that the blessing of Chukwu Kikabiyama will continue to follow every one of you as you look forward to help your brothers that is suffering in the, in the zoological republic. I want to say something, Mazi, before I want to start by the zoological republic, a place where the devil is residing in the planet Earth. That is where you will locate the devil. If the devil is in the earth, you can find it in Nigeria. The reason I'm saying this is because they continue to lie, deceive people, mislead people by telling them that uh, they are expecting to see the Azul dead president to come and talk. And let me just tell you what the youth, some of the youth in Nigeria say this morning on air. They are demanding that uh, that press interview that they are looking forward, that their president is coming to do. They know, everybody is aware that Buhari is dead and buried. There is nothing like Buhari. And that is the reason why the youth are demanding that they will not like to see video. They, will, they, will, they won't welcome video clips. As they refuse to mention a particular day that this will take place. That is an evidence of false information, misleading information that comes from these people in daily basis. As the information minister, his name sounds lies and also is a lie himself. And that is the reason why they continue to deceive people. The uh, news media called radio stations and their presenters also dissenting. They are also contributing to the downfall and the sufferings of the masses every day because they are the ones they use to propagate or to promote this evil, false information, telling the whole world that a dead president that they are supposed to make open that is somewhere that is coming. And everybody knows that this is false. So I'm saying that if you are a dear friend and you want good things for you and your family, I want you to extend it to others. Good things can never remain only in your family. Yes. Yeah. This is the truth. You have to extend that good thing to others. Because as you wish yourself good, that is how others want themselves to be good. And this opportunity was given, not by man, but to work at them and made it available to everyone. I am encouraging every member of IPOB, if you are tired, you can go and sit down, but don't try to disturb or stop what we are doing because you will not. Yes. A lot of sacrifice have taken place. A lot of sacrifice, ultimate and the, the opposite ultimate has taken place. People can never afford to go back until we get what we need. The question is, what are we looking for? We want freedom, Mazi. We want to be free. We are not going to be slaves in the zoo. We are second class slaves, not first class. Second class. Oh boy, what happened? 
Uh, that was a good advice. I don't know what your line just went off. You can co anyway. You already concluded what you wanted to say, and uh, I agree with you completely. If you are tired, step aside. That's that's the, the base. That's the base of what you're saying. We are here to. Uh, freedom is our goal. Freedom is the quest. We're going to get that freedom, regardless of who who joins the trade or not. It doesn't matter. Nobody's important. If I'm tired, I will believe me sincerely. I will announce it to you, and I'll step aside. No big deal. No big deal at all. So, when we finish, like I said before, we are here to get our freedom. And the freedom is what we will get, regardless of what anybody says. I have another call coming in. Let me take this one. Caller on uh, Principal Officer's line. Are you there? Caller, good morning. Are you there? Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Uh, good morning, sir. Marzi Peters. Welcome to the program. My name is Marzi Mecca. I'm calling from Minneapolis, USA. There you are. Marzi, uh, my contribution yeah, is this morning regarding what is going on about the FM Father Clip. Since all this, I don't want to even talk about it. But it's a very big shame. And somebody we are looking up to, somebody must be shame for that most of us are respected so much. This movement. This makes me to understand feel who again who who again can people be trusted? Like when I watch Mazi which I'm for Amazon what they are tweeting in Facebook, I feel ashamed even watching it. Mazi, I used to be one of uh, I used to attend one of Ibo meeting here some time ago. When I stopped going to that Ibo meeting. I never one day can I get that Igbo meeting. I never, I just remove it from my, sometimes I don't even remember that I, I, used to, I used to be a member of that Igbo meeting. Even sometime about uh, last month, I'm working in the store. I'm, I'm going to buy some of the store. And somebody met me said, that no Igbo meeting here. I even refer it to, to, to that place. That's how somebody's supposed to do something. You are the people that preach us, preach it. If I should know, me, yeah. preaching us, we are looking up to you. And now, Yes, he coming again, talking against that thing you are preaching. What does that? I don't know. This thing is irritating for me. Eh? Okay, Mazu Timefo, you are the one that used to preach. I remember when Iruanya and all of them are suspended. He said, Mazu Timefo, every day you are talking about this thing. You are good in talking about it. Okay, now, the same thing that Iruanya did is what you did now. Why can't you go one place? We don't know. We claim to be educated, but we don't know that social media is good and social media is dangerous. If you might choose a move for not the kind of enmity you have created on your bunch of children, you won't come on the Facebook and be dissenting yourself. There's nothing we will talk against Martin Nicano that we will have people will believe. Because Martin Nicano have said do everything. Martin Chemefa, Martin Bilenu, have anybody poor, have a, a woman. You let and pour you on you before. Have they put spit on you before? Have they molest you before? Have they rolled the front before? But imagine I cannot have done those things. He loses his balance. Eh? We know the truth. We are not, we are not zombie. We are not full, 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 uh, living father, that no more, more than more than you in Catholic do, 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 doctrine. Come in and I'll be pleading for you. Don't do this, don't do this. If you can't respect the living father, if you can't respect the living father, is that kind of church you are going? Or respect a woman. If you live in the Western world, that shows don't even respect your wife. A mother, she's something years old, need that begging for more than. Three hours in two, three different occasions. And you call yourself a man coming on social media, even have your mouth to say he will threaten, he, he will sue anybody. What is your mother No problem. I expect you to just go silent if you know, you, if you know, you are not supporting of, of a movement. Why come here on Facebook? That's live video I do Facebook. It's about you. I remember when this issue started, it's there. I will not the Kanu preach about Catholic Church, about the pastors. I mean, I, born, I, I was born in Catholic Church. I even served Pope Jean Paul when it comes to Nigeria. But when I come to America and I study 
No, the Catholic Church is not made, made for my religion. Catholic Church is not made for my religion. I don't care whatever it is. Since that day, I'm watching them for begin to cut down, cut down the busy. But if you are smart, in IPOB, yeah, me and some of our members, we have the differences. But if you show the issue of this girlfriend, if I ask question, I will ask them in the forum. You don't see me, we will set up all the differences. But each of this Gaddafra is something that will benefit their own children, benefit my own children of all. So I put every enemy I have with anybody aside. But this Gaddafra cause, we are doing together. That's why what people, that's the kind of mentality that the white people are behaving. So what people they can be doing something, uh, they can be behaving enemy to themselves, but they will make America great, they will be there together. Now, be there to, 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 together. You can't respect our, our, our veteran. In the Western world, there's a parking spot for veteran. If you, want, if you apply for a job, the first one give, 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 give a veteran. They have a, a veteran day. But you imagine me before, please to us this, on, this, on this day. You can't even respect our veteran. Shame on you. Please, an educated man. You're not educated. If you're educated, you go slow. You go on that. Let me drop it Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right, this is your opinion. That's very correct. Anybody who has the right to express himself, say what you want to say. The line is open for you. We've call here six four six nine two zero four five four one three uh five seven zero three five two eight four four two plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three. You know, the, the one thing I believe in is that when somebody's very, very upset, if you don't pour it out and you let it live inside of you, it could turn into something else. So that's why I'm, I'm giving you guys opportunity. Invent your anger. Say it out. Don't just crush anybody, but be very civil about it. But say what you think. That's what freedom is all about. You know, sometimes we wake up in the morning. That is why it's always good when you want to do something you think. Because sometimes you say, I am not coming. Or I am not this. I am not that. Because naturally... I don't know how to express it in the common, the name language. We are full of eyes. Too many eyes are there. Every, every second, another eye is taken over. Every, that is when I say I am in the letter I, capital letter. I am this today. I am that tomorrow. That's why we keep changing. Until we get ourselves together and get all these eyes that, is, that are jumping around, get them together and become one eye. That's what they call being aware of yourself, being awake. Remember yourself. Always think. Always self-remembering. You know, there's a book that I read and says they call it self-remembering. A lot of people call it awareness. We are not aware of ourselves. That's why we make mistakes because we make an array. We say, "I will never do this," but eventually you do the same thing that you say you wouldn't do. I have a call coming in on straight line. Good morning, caller. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning, Marvi Ike Peters. Welcome to the program. Are you here? Is my voice coming out clear? Yeah, uh, loud and I'm clear, sir. Go ahead. Okay, Mars. I uh, so much appreciate it this morning. Uh, good morning, Bia friends. Good afternoon, Bia friends. Good night, Bia friends. My name is Judo Kafo. Uh, Judo Kafo is from Agbo. And Agbo is in Anioma, and Neoma is Biafra land. Uh, I just want to chip in a little contribution this morning. Uh, you know, when God created heavens and earth, see, sabotage didn't start on earth, it started from the kingdom of God. Our leader only said that he knows three. He know, sorry, he knows all. Mazu Chemefo knows two. And the rest of every other, no one. And that is what Lucifer did to God. After God had created, finished creating everything in, the, in heaven and earth, and God called Lucifer and other noble people in heaven and said, let us make man in our own image. God created good men. The devil created bad men. And that's why in this world you see the good people and bad people. And when the devil finished knowing two in heaven, he thinks he knows it all. And he raised up an army to fight against God and knows everything. What happened? God crushed him and his angel and chased them away from the kingdom of God. That is what is happening in IPOB. Our leader knows it all. Who came for only know two. And he thinks he have arrived. Sorry for him and his agents. Because he knows nothing. And the same devil went to the garden of Eden to deceive Adam and Eve. That garden is so good, don't go new. It's the serpent. It's a serpent that goes around, even in this country, America, that we are. IPOB has not attained their position. 
You are waiting for Nandi Kano to come and see the president and the everything. You are going around and gossiping. You will come on radio and say, first you men, men we are. Do what I say, don't do what I do. That's what you are preaching on Radio Biafra. Many person, we know you, serpent. He's a serpent. He's the one conniving and uh, gossiping. Uh, our leader said, uh, 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 and sass and no and sass. Is that your problem? So, what happened? Today, they are nowhere to be found. They think if they cause commotion in IPOB, IPOB will crumble. They are lying. Just as the gospel of Jesus was preached around the whole world by the remaining disciples. Even when Jesus was on earth, they used Judas Iscariot. They bribed him to go and kiss Jesus, to betray Jesus. What happened? When Jesus told uh, Peter, you will deny me after the conqueror three times. It happened. So man, the, man the, our, our leader is not the first person to be, to be betrayed. Betray must come because betray is in a human nature. Not only the nature of Igbo man, because I'm an Igbo man. The devil joined God to create human being. And in creating that human being, the devil saw the bad seed in the, some image that he made. Because God said, let make man with our own image. Not only God created man. He said, let us. Us mean more than one person in heaven that helped God to create, to make man. The devil was included because he was second in command. He was the chorus leader, just like Uche Mefo did now. But one thing I saw all these people, IPOB will never fall. Neither will Biafra be crumbled. Because Biafra is a spirit. Yes. And Biafra must come. Yes. Whether they like it or not, whether they are conniding, Biafra must come. He said. I follow the leader because of his righteousness and his truthfulness. I did not listen to Oche Mefo, neither anybody. The first day I made up my mind as an Ikama to follow Biafra was when I heard the voice in the wilderness cry for all this suffering of his people. Mahasina and the Kano, I changed my mentality. I changed everything within me and said, this is the man I will follow. No man can deceive me and no man can deceive millions of Biafrans around the world. For we have chosen and remain resolute behind our leader Mahasina and the Kano. Yes. And at the end, Biafra will come. If you like, go and open radio in the, in the moon, in the sky. Go and ask the people that went and opened their own. Ask them how is market. How they ask them what is going on. They are people that are born for something. And Mazinan the Kano is one of that person. Just like God chose Moses. Moses was a stammerer. But God chose him not because... Even though he cannot speak, but God has a special spot for him. God knows he's the one to take the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Even though the Bible did not record a lot of things that his own Israelite did to him. Some went to Pharaoh and said, Pharaoh, what are you looking at that man for? He's the one that killed one of the Egyptians and ran away. Do you know how many times Moses was arrested by Pharaoh and he was released? Let me tell you, when God is about to set you free from your captivity, when God is about to catapult you to the highest level, it will cause commotion in your camp that the weed, the bad weeds will be withered away. Those ones that you think they are for you, you will know that they are not for you. And that is what is happening in IPOB today. Because we are about to get into the kingdom of God on earth, which is Biafra. And Chukwa Biafra said, no, these people with evil mind will not get into the kingdom. And that is what God is withering. May Chukwa Biyama bless our leader, whatever you are. They say. A lot of people say you are not speaking, my leader. If you are hearing my voice, you have did enough through the answers. Day in, day out, you were broadcasting. You need a rest. Rest. When it's time for you to speak, speak. Yes. Because you are a wise man. Wise man, oh, sit back and listen and watch the foolish ones. Talk rubbish. Say, oh, the abundant. All the evil abundant they have in their mind, they will speak it out. Why the wise man will be taught in every useless, useless thought, every unuseful and evil threat in them. And at the end of it, the wise man will come out and speak. And the people will listen. And the people will hear. And the people will know the truth. 
Yes. So, Marcy Nandikano, you are the man that God of the sin. Keep moving. You will take us to the promised land. And in you, do we trust. The Chukwa Biyama blessed Biafra around the world. Remain resolute. Biafra must come. The enemies of Biafra will fall. Yes. In the name of Chukwa Kike Abiyama, I pray. He say, he say, he say. Thank you so much, my dear brother. Thank you so much. Nice to hear your voice again after a long time. You've not called the station. And um, I'm happy that you found time to call. Like you said, this is a journey of Awaka alone come. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever you say, Etelotazi. Piafra is coming. It's on the horizon. I see it coming, regardless of what anybody does. This is a small squabble. You know, small chinch. No, no, no. You just scratch it off and keep on going. That's exactly what's happening. Somebody sent me something, and uh, I didn't want to really dwell on it because uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. Somebody said here that uh, the Vanguard News is writing that IPOB opts for restructuring, sends memorandum to NASS. I don't know, what the, I don't know which IPOB they're talking about. It has nothing to do with us. Everybody is scrambling, scrambling, and scrambling. IPOB is now a name. But you naturally make a name. Who IPOB? You know, whatever you want to do is IPOB. But you know what? After all said and done, we see our freedom. Our freedom is coming. When things are getting better, that's when they start looking like uh, heaven is going to fall. But nothing will happen. Nothing the shell. We are here. We are going to get our freedom regardless of whatever they say. This is Radio Biafra USA 2 broadcasting live from New York City under the auspices of a modern station. Why? 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 Our leader's name is Mazin Namdekano. Some people are saying, oh, he's not talking. Yeah, he will talk when he's ready. Anytime he's ready to talk, oh, yeah, do you? <laughs> he did, like, we come to truth. The whole, country, the whole world will be shut down. That's what makes him Namdekano. Namdekano is just Namdekano. All of us can pretend to be like him. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I like, always we'll pretend to be uh, somebody whom we, we adore, somebody whom we revere. He is our leader. He's our leader, and in the words of my brother, Obi the Obi Enu, he said, "If open us, you know, many." So that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, if I say any, we will follow our leader, and that's our leader. This person I will follow. You can't tell me today to follow him, and then tomorrow you say he's, he's the worst person on earth. drum man, which means that uh, you are not red, you have not been crystallized. You are still in the too many eyes. I, 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 I. You say one thing today, tomorrow you forgot what you said yesterday. But the people you are telling are listening to you. They know what you said. They know what you said and when you said it. All right, call her on um, call her on uh, WhatsApp. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Welcome to the program. As a um, thing for the clip you play for us this afternoon. As I wanted to, my my push my my good. I wanted to find out if this is this. your line is breaking. You're breaking. You're breaking. That you don't don't actually, know we know our stand on what really happened. We have confirmed that uh, the priest, uh, beg, uh, our big um, Mazi, which are more for them to look at. Did what you happened? did you introduce you did you introduce yourself? Did you tell us who you are? No. Your line your, your line is breaking. I can't understand what you're saying. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Okay. from South Africa. Okay. Welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. So I said the clip we, we you played for us that we've been hearing all over the, the platforms, also in the groups, that uh, our brother Mazi Chemofo was. Uh, was engaged with our priest and our elder looking to the matter between him and uh, our leader. So if that is the 
if that is true, then I have other questions that I wanted to ask because Master Chukopo has been in this uh, journey for a while and he's been, we've been following him. He has um, put a lot of energy in the whole thing. And uh, where every community is based on Ubo, where where this thing start that uh, he went to, that he's not ready to listen to anyone, than to start up a radio. And in which way this radio is going to help the struggle that he's been with or has been into for a very long time. Yes, we knew that um, there's going to be fallout and there's going to be trouble. There's going to be a lot of things. That's going to be this struggle, but. I was not expecting it to come from Chibok. But since it happened, is there any way if he turn around, even now or tomorrow, we can be able to make this amendment? Because personally, it has been something that have devastated me as a person. How come a person like him start making some of this comment that he's making? Even though he has been like he has the case. But to bring it to the form of our enemies has actually put me a lot of questions. But please, I would like him, if it's possible for him, if he can make a U-turn, to come back to the family, because we are all family. And the thing is there now when it's too early. Because that route that is taking, I'm not sure. I'll help him or help anybody that is saying to give no to carry on. Because the work that IPU have done, IPU have done a very big way, including him has helped build it. So my submission this afternoon is if Mazuchomo can look at what is ahead of us. Look at people that have died in this problem like like our elders and our priests have put it on the table for him to see the people that have gave their life for this. So that's the biggest sacrifice that anyone can throw at the ground. It's not about anger or about what somebody has done to you. And there's something that I, I will always, I love about our leader, Onyendu, I greet you so much for the maturity that you've shown on this case. You initiated a handshake with our our former deputy to say the good thing between me and him. If you said there has been a man to say, I'm sorry if I've offended anybody. What this man carries on his head is too much for anyone to fight him at this time. Life is at risk. The life of all of us, working on radio, broadcasting, of course, are into bodies together. So it's going to be a fair round for which tackling him after he has said so many things that has brought Nigeria down. I'm not sure if our people know. It is not easy for anyone on this surface of this earth to have done what Nandikale has done. It's not, no one can do it. To even stand in the court, if you know how mad that is, to say to him, he is mad in his court. No one will do it and survive. Are you going to talk about parents that he, he has killed. Actually, he's the one that killed his mother and father because of this problem. He brought this to himself. And he said, I am ready to sacrifice anything, sacrifice them. And those people are then at rest. Please, I'm just begging. If there is any way, amendment would be done. All of us are angry. I have said so many things about this whole thing before on the other on the, on the race. But on a second thought, I'm asking myself a question. Uh, is it is it the way in or is it the way out? But this radio and these things that he's been saying, or I know he's going to stop saying it, it's not going to help us. I beg him to come back or close that radio. See how we can amend. Thank you. Please say that you are still ready to amend anything that have done If it's possible, let him do it. Thank you, sir. Thank you much, Mazi. There were for taking my call. Thank you. All right, uh, this is Radio Biafra. That's uh, everybody's entitled to his opinion. Uh, to, be, to be honest with you, 
Isim Kuo, I don't really care how many radios that are open. It doesn't mean anything. What means something is what you say on the radio. <laughs> if you open the radio, fine. But what kills you or kills that radio is what you say on the radio. You can be able to attract more people to what we are doing by opening a radio. It depends on what you are saying on the radio. That's what my own take. If you go the wrong way, that radio will die a natural death. You don't even need to ask the person to. Because when you're talking and you're not talking to an audience and nobody's calling you, why are you be wasting your time? Do you know how, how you feel when, you're, when I'm broadcasting and nobody's making a call? It's very, it's very disheartening. People will make calls depending on what you're saying. When you're talking and you're talking to their soul, they will respond. But if you set up a radio today to sit down here and castigate and, and what you drive away people that want to listen to you. Like I said, this is freedom radio. We are not interested in how many radios. There should be millions and millions and triples of millions of radio stations. Doesn't give a shit. Doesn't mean anything. If it what means something is what you say. Hiruanya opened one. They call it Radio Biafra International. What happened to it? Because when you go in there to create something and you know that this thing is going to create problem and you just created it and you think you are going to do it and use it to castigate other people, you are not going to succeed. You're going to fail. So it does not really, how many radios they open doesn't bother me, to be honest with you. What I think about is, what are you going to say in the radio? I have a call. Let me take this one. Caller, good morning. Caller on, um, somebody's calling me on WhatsApp. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Yeah. Welcome to the program. I don't know. I don't please I I don't know if the this is the right number to call. Please. This is the one I have. Okay, I just know. go ahead, go ahead. It's not the right number, but go ahead. Just say tell us what you want. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for welcoming me, Mazi. I do appreciate it. My name is uh, Prince Sunday Naman and I am calling from uh, United Arab Emirates. Okay. I, I just want to chip in some things from base of the clip just played now honestly speaking i have i don't want to say anything uh, about this what is going on now no? but uh i think uh, we have to say our mind how it is uh, as neutral you no know? and uh, what i want to say is this uh, regarding about which am for frankly speaking uh i don't believe that he will do, he will behave as he behaves now. I never believed that. I never thought such can happen. A man like him. But one thing I want to say for people that are saying, if he want to go, whoever that want to go, is free to leave IPOB. No, I don't believe in that word. For which ML4 case is totally different. Mazi, I joined, I joined probably the same you too. You join, you meet them. We know which ML4 as deputy leader of indigenous people of Biafra, choose by Mazi and the Kanu. I know him as a deputy when I joined. And the, in many occasions, Mazu Chemefo have given a command. Time without number and the, everybody carry that that instruction. Mazu Chemefo have given a command for our people to march in the Afro land and some were killed. Mazu Chemefo have given so many people suspension in POB and obey. Mazu Uchemefo have exp expelled many people out of IPO and uh, we obey and supported him. So, at this point in time, he's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. I don't, I don't believe in his issue. He can leave and start. He, he cannot. Others may leave who join and them. But for him, He's not going anywhere because those that he give a suspension and obey and those that he expelled from IPOB and become an enemy to IPOB, which he, he, he called them saboteur and we follow call them saboteur 
because we hear it from our deputy director. Man, what are we just saying? His case is different. He's not going anywhere. He will, he will finish the work he, he started. I am not supporting he should leave. For the radio, my question to him is this. For the radio, radio he, he opened, which he called Human Rights Radio Biafra. I want to ask him, Radio Biafra, what do, does it stand for? Does Radio Biafra stand against human rights? I will, that is my question to him. Radio Biafra, where he was, he has been broadcasting, did they he stand against human rights? Why must he open his phone and target human rights Radio Biafra? We know Radio Biafra as a, a session that speak for those that don't have voice to speak. Radio Biafra has been condemning the lies that the federal government has been hearing that the world did not know. Radio Biafra stand as a human right radio. I don't know why Uche Mefo opened his own and call it human right radio, radio Biafra. So, in his own case, he's not going anywhere. Uche Mefo is not going anywhere. If Uche, it, 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 it will be more better for Uche Mefo to die in this struggle under IPOB. Then we know that he died on, in, under IPOB than for him to leave. He can, he's not going anywhere. Men have died under his command. Men, he's not going anywhere. My message to uh, Azi Obi I expect him. It's, it's enough to be my father. I will not insult him. He is the one that introduced to us. If us Runume, Runume Nia, no matter how hard, how difficult it may sound. Obey before complain. Obi do bienu, merai that word introduced, and that word had been been a a hymn in every mouth of their friends all over the world. Ivas lunume lunume niye, but his own reason was that he why he drop and leave because Mazen Nandekan did not obey him, did not hear his instruction did not listen to him, his advice. I want to ask him, before you join IPOB, did you join IPOB in order to become personal advisor of Mazen Nandekan, or you join IPOB because you hear the voice of Mazen Nandekan that he's saying truth and stand to liberate his people? Because before you are joining IPOB, you must have one thing in mind. It's either you are there for your people, or you are there for selfish interests. That is one thing. And the advice, one thing I want to let also, Mazel is free to go, because he joined where I joined. I will not say he should not go. He joined where I joined. He's free to go. Yes. But Mazu Uchemefo is not going anywhere. And two, what I want to say more about uh, the case of Mazu Uchemefo is that let me refer him back to Nigeria. Up to now, no, has he heard Osubanjo speak even upon being a vice president of a nation? He has not. Did Mazu Uchemefo remember that there was a time? Osubanjo was locked out in a security meeting. They are, they, they, he's supposed to be in there, but he was locked out. For him not to come in, they say, they come up with, he, he came late, something of that nature. He couldn't be able to know what is happening in security meeting. A vice president, did he come out and condemn, condemn Buhari? Did the man which may fall remember that Jubiri was in, uh, they, are, they are planning to bring in Jubiri into Nigeria, when Osubanjo was in charge, appointing many people in some offices. When Jubilee came in, did he remember, did the, the man which may remember that Jubilee removed those ones that Osubanjo point in some offices? Did Osubanjo come out to complain? The answer is no. Did 
Mas which may for remember that uh, Osubanjo is not in Asorok in his own office in Asorok now. No. Did he come out to speak against the government where he's serving? The answer is no. Don't him think that Osubanjo is going a lot in that Asorok, but he cannot come out to speak. Why? Because he know that if you come out to speak, that is the end of Nigeria. If you come out to condemn Buhari or call Buhari a liar or say Buhari is evil, then Nigeria is gone. But he, cannot, he cannot do it. Why did he keep quiet? Because he wants the unity to continue. That is what I expected from Mazui Chemefo. But it's unfortunately, he started the fight like a man and he's about to end like a woman. No, he cannot. He cannot. He will, he will finish it. He will finish it. We are entitled to leave IPOB if we decided to leave. We join them. But for him, no, no, no. He will finish it. He has, he has given a command. People died on, on his command. He cannot just go out now and be become a saint. I finish. I I We will die here. The same struggle. We will die. We that is the oath we took. That is my advice. I am not going to insult him. He has done a lot. He has contributed a lot in the IPOD. And he made us understand that he can never allow corruption to come into the project yes. of IPOB. Thank you. I give him respect on that. That he should finish it. The work is not yet done. Thank you so much. Thank you Mother. very much. This yeah. is this is you made my day, my brother. You spoke very well. I'm I'm very happy. You know, sometimes when I listen to people talk, I'm thinking of the wisdom, the way they're talking. That's why when I started, I said, No question, just say something. Because if you calm down, you will you will bring out that that thing inside of you. The moment you let your emotion take over you, you start talking without even realizing what you're saying. You see what he just said? I'm gonna record it. Everything is being recorded. Because I'm going to repeat it. He made very, very vital points. We all came and joined you people. Now you want to go away. Who, who, who do you think you are? You think you can lure us into this thing and get away any day you like? Because of petty rubbish that had no meaning? That's exactly what this guy is saying. You came, we come and join. Mazio is my brother. <laughs> Two of us, football boy, we can go, but we, because we didn't start this. Thing. But there are people that will not go. You can't lock. You have to put on you, then in You say you are going there. Mbana. Yeah, if you finish what you started. That's what our brother is saying. That makes a lot of sense. We know the truth. We are in this together. We join them. Now only me waka come. I said that before. And only me will go waka come out. I didn't come with anybody. The day I want to go, I'll go on my own. And I will not take anybody with me. But there are people there in this thing, especially Namdi Kano and Uche Mofo. Two of them can... You can't take us to the battle and disappear. No battle. I It's never done anywhere. The analogy he used about, about um, uh, Osibanjo, isn't that pure intelligence? Osi Banjo knows that Buhari is not. He, he, you can imagine the worst he can go is to accept that the that his boss is dead. He will not tell anybody because he wants to keep that country one. What can be worse than that? What would what could we what could the deputy must have suffered in the hands of the director that will make him to make a rational decision? The worse than what Osi Banjo, he is there. Your boss died. You are part of it. You cannot say anything to anybody. Because you want to keep the country one. Because you want to hold the unity. Even though it is false unity, but I don't want it to be in my... Do you think Obasanjo and the rest of them doesn't know Abuari is dead? Of course they do. They do. But they can't just say anything. You swallow this thing. That's what makes you a leader. You are leaders of this movement. All of us, like I said, we, we, we waka come. So we can waka go. But you, you did not waka come. No. You will then to do to your job, no matter what. Let me take more calls before we call it a day. Uh, caller on WhatsApp, or caller on principal officer's line. Good morning. Are you there? Oh, my, the line dropped. I don't know why. All right, let's take a caller on straight line. Good morning. Caller on straight line, are you there? Yes. 
Good afternoon from here, Marvin. Welcome to the program. Okay. Marvin, my name is Marvin. Welcome to the program. I'm calling. Thank you very much, Marvin. Marvin, the little contribution that I want to contribute uh, this afternoon is I've never, I've never seen or had anybody that want to sleep with the, with another man's wife and start praising praising the man. It's, it, it, it can never be done. It has never happened. So, my my uh, my for condemning our leader, saying calling our leader a liar, is normal. It's normal because because he wants to justify justify his uh, uh, his uh, atrocity that they have committed. And somebody saying that the Mepo is not resigned. Uche Mofo have already have already resigned. He's no longer coming back. So this means that we don't have a capable people. People, why should somebody that planned a coup and that coup fail? Maybe because the coup failed and the see and the, what they plan doesn't work the way they plan it, then we still accept them back. It's like people don't know what it will plan. In this in the, in this this car time. We are facing the 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 the, the, the heat of the answers, the heat of oh, 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 uh, oh people, and they brought they, they brought their own in order in order to collapse IPOB. But little they know that I, IPOB I, I, IPOB is not is not is not is is not is not a man a man is not a single man business. IPOB ordained by God, structured by God. So if I have some people saying that Uche Mofo will come back, no, he's not coming back. Bringing bringing Uche Mofo back again to IPOB, we collapse IPOB completely. That means we don't know what we are doing. Somebody that planned a coup and failed, and he's still going to come back to so, to to complete what you what you what you have already started. Is that what is that is that what you are telling me? It's impossible. Secondly, Mazi, DOS is a governing body of IPOB. So anything they said is final. I heard you yesterday saying that a sign by which sign by Chief Yoruzim that is not signed by by our leader. Our leader cannot be leader and be uh, and be head of the DOS. So anything anything the DOS anything Chief Yoruzim said is final. And let me let, let me interject in that I'm let, coming, I'm before coming, before no no I'm before coming, you, no I, w I don't want to lose my line of thought okay, listen okay, 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 the okay. guy said that a memo was sent out signed by our leader and i corrected him i said unless they made another memo the one that i saw was signed by the head of the director of state chike Dozim. you don't have to lie tell us who signed it don't don't push it on somebody who didn't sign anything that's that's why I got that's that's why I interjected what he was saying. If he had said a memo was sent signed by Ch I mean, the head of the director of the state, Chi Kedusim, of course I would not argue with him. But he said signed by our leader. And I was like, did they bring another memo? Is it the one that I saw? Yes, Marvin. Yeah, okay, go ahead. That's yes, because the, the reason why you said this is because of uh, is because of the the complaint from uh, from our Lebanon father that that most people most people give give order in the name of our leader no that's, that's not the that. reason why i said it no okay absolutely not just just putting words in my mouth he, he i got a memo that was signed by somebody and i saw the memo and the guy came in to say that memo was signed by somebody else and i'm like did they issue another one is it the one that i saw or the one it's a very simple logic i i i'm not taking words if he had said it exactly the way it is i won't even argue with him whether the reverend father okay. say whatever the reverend father say has nothing to do with it to be honest Okay. The, Ma, do, do you know do, do you know the reason why the IPOB is, is still standing up to or up to now? It's because of that that uh, that clip of uh, of Reverend Father. Do you know do you know the 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 the, 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 the amendment that that clip done to this this struggle? If no, if not that that uh, 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 with in fact, with extra wisdom in our in, in our level and father that make them to come out and and, and say that thing half of half of IPOB have been you know go to these people and that is what they plan these people are evil forget about them they, they are nothing 
They are nothing. I'm telling you, they are nothing. So, so coming, 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 coming to the other and say that I, I know I didn't resign, I didn't do what. Are you, are you, are you talking to kids? Are we a baby? You have already resigned. You have already. Or someone, or someone, or someone wants to know my story. He's going to So get away. You are not coming back again. Idiots. Bye, Thank you. All right, bye. All right, I have another call. Let's take this one from uh, Principal Officer's line. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Principal Officer's line, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here, my brother, I. Peterson. This is Junior Manozi. Welcome to the program. Am I coming out? Yes, loud and clear, sir. Go ahead. Thank you, my brother, for taking up my call this morning. My name is Onyemu Wazunano Ziabachi. I come from Awa in Olu province. In the great nation of Biafra, the kingdom of God on earth. I salute my leader, Onyemu, wherever you are, Ahamadike. Chukwakike Adiyam, I showed you to me. I saw you in the revelation. Three times before I saw you in person. And I fasted the for Namo de Kano for two years when he was in Kuja prison. Mr. Kwakike Adiyama keep on leading you and guiding you. And very, very soon, we are in the promised land. My eyes have seen the island of Isopo. The road from Enugu to Lagos is closed. My eyes have seen the continent in the continent. And my eyes have seen Onion do heading up, up, up north with the thousands of Biafran soldiers after Abuja is it totally ash rock, is totally collapsed. Tukwo Kike Abiyami is my witness that it is all I saw. You know, my brother, I prefer seeing and Biafran. I'm a vet. I fought the war. And uh, somebody who fought the war you know how many years he is. And been on about 40 years in America here. You know my age. We are not mis miscreants. We are educated people. And we have seen what is going on with their wisdom and with their eyes. And know that uh, the boat is tilting. On the side of which I will say it. You know, my brother, which is a soft behavior, and the obedient piano is like a father rice. In Biafra land or Yipo land in those days, the father rice, that's the reverend fathers from Potoki, from Britain, and all the rest of them. They come to our land and tell our forefathers, bring out all the offer. Bring down to all the symbols that all these things are evil. Our fathers brought them out. Before you know it, all those things are in British Museum, in European museums, and they are making money with it, with the all those of uh, which they say that it is evil. That is the Sonokwanum Esonomubem. Sonokwanum Esonomubem. That is the Uchemel for. And you'll be your bien. You remember my brother, I Peterson, either in your own program or my name, I was a program. I said it a while ago that the eyes of Namo de Kano going to with his little, little children from the age of four to six to nine. And we are singing, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And then we are going to the UN from Uche, Uche, Uche Naji house. And then we are going like a people going to uh, take a really, that is the Holy Communion. All of them we are wearing apparel, white apparel. And then we are walking in rows. But one of them did not wear the white apparel. Even the man the kind of was wearing apparel. And the very person close to Namo the Kane was not wearing the apparel. And I said it on the radio that time about three or four months ago that that person is a betrayer. That person is a compromiser. You know that the Ujjama first said a while ago or in the beginning, I cannot allow corruption to see this organization. Or to allow 
Thank you so much. All right, this is Radio Biafra. I was still taking a call. I just got a clip uh, from one of our brothers, and I think I need to add this script because at least he gave me a description of what the lady is saying. It's a uh, Czech, Czech Republic distancing themselves from the uh, foreign affairs of Borono massacre and calling for the disintegration of Nigeria. Let's let's listen to this clip. Maybe it might be interesting. <laughs> All right, the clip is not really going on well. I don't know why. But let me see. Somebody's calling me on this line. It's interrupting that clip that I really wanted to air. Let me see who that is. Um, caller on... Uh, yeah, let me see. It's not, it's not opening up. The phone is ringing. I can't even find where. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I think the person, the caller has dropped. Unfortunately, I was trying to get it and uh, it didn't uh, show up let's see who was that uh let's see call um okay let me take this call uh, let's see what happens caller are you there all right unfortunately the call is not going through oh just call me back the number here is six four six nine two zero four five four one Five seven zero three five two eight four four two plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three. You see, when you call on the wrong line, that's what you get. Let me try this again. Caller, good morning. Are you there? Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, I'm here. Um, I Peters. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Mazi, I'm in a very noisy place. I'll be very brief. I just want to ask a question. Yes. Um, tell us your name. Tell us your name, please. Tell us your name. Mazi Chidera calling from South Africa, sir. Welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. Um, I will just number one question is if we, if somebody will be scared to call on radio and, uh, and say anything about which in the view of him seeing somebody, then who sues which for the command he gave and the people went to die? That's the first question, because I see no reason why you are a freedom fighter and you are seen in the freedom fighting. There is no embargo, there is no law saying that nobody should mention this person's name. Our leader have not legally advised us this person's name must not be mentioned. And somebody will be saying if you have mentioned his name, probably may be seeing you. Seeing you for what? If you which I should sue us, then who sues who is, him for the order who is, who which is saying, who is that saying that who, where did you get the impression that nobody should mention somebody's name because of suing? 
I had somebody called yesterday that's like a of an advisor in the radio that maybe you should be staying like in terms of uh, this is your this is your opinion. It's not radio Biafra's opinion. Was it on this platform? Was it on this was it on this platform? Oh dear. yes. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't mean to insult anybody. I'm just giving it a, the example yes. before I say what I'm about to say. Because if that will be the case, then who sues him for the order which are given? Now, Mars, the main the main purpose of my calling is that I requested yesterday. Um, I may not be up to that standard to do that, but uh, my mother knows how important I am. That's the only body that's too proud of me. I will, I will definitely ask. When other people people say that other people have opened a radio, remember none of those people open a radio is a deputy. They are just as you just waka come as you just say. They come and they go. Uche are different from those people. Now, I will suggest and I'll suggest again. It's very, very important. I'm in this country and the ANC, even though I was also here, but I have followed some of their history before when they are fighting. There are some of them left this country and go to other countries and have a meeting. The company here left this country. They went to have physical face-to-face meeting. So when they come back, those whom they send will come back again and have meeting on the ground. They don't just carry out uh, operational without instruction. Now I, I have spoken to whom I have been able to speak to. But opinion is divided. I can tell you, the target of what is going on is not you people on top of their IPTAS. The target is the, the ordinary people, the mamas in the village, which are still calling, asking what is going on, and nobody can give them an answer. What is this stopping uh, uh, DOS to set up a meeting? I said, in South Africa, you can take 10. In the, in the UK, you can take 10. In America, you can say 10 or 20. In Poland, you can say 5. In Germany, 10. Get 1,000, fix them in one week. Just one day, three hours meeting. Whatever come out of that meeting, what the IPOB will follow. That is the war. You say we are one family. I see no reason why I will come and say. Another person will come and counter. Next, I'm not saying our leader should be in that meeting. Let's come together, pass a resolution and say, this is it. If we should go on, because people are writing and it's not good. If we will believe it or, 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 or you don't believe it, Uche have already his own group now. Writing counter and everything on Facebook. I am writing, I'm talking to you and I can even read out to you one of the person, principal officer, saying that the IPOB can, I cannot achieve restoration of Biafra with a lie. I don't know when IPOB started lying. These are the language of our enemies before. Our principal officer are still with Nana, just within a week now. All of them are using that same language. Now, how can a, somebody, if you go out, just check it, IPTAS, look at all, all those whom I know that go out of this uh, uh, broadcasting. Have you had any of them called radio and aid their view? They are former broadcasters before, but they don't call any broadcaster to aid their view. If you call them privately, they have something to say. Now, if you see somebody opening his own page, he's there, focus on Uche. Who gave, who authorized him? Somebody else to focus on uh, Namde. If you are, if you are preaching about the Biafra, you can go ahead. But when this come to game blame, Uche will in the evening, rubbish, including saying that the Reverend Father that said what he said, is there, he didn't complete it. Who is believing you? I just got off from a phone and speaking to somebody. I try my best to convince, but this person is writing, I don't like it. And he's writing clearly in favor of Uche. And the DOS in, in the few view of what everybody is saying, if I open my mouth and tell you what they say, which I will not do, it looks like as if DOS is the one in charge, not even in Namde. It's very, very appalling. Somebody like me, I have very soft heart. If Uche is claiming that people are crying in the village and the people are in Obibo, what is it, what is it that they're doing? If the DOS is doing something now, they should not come to A and do it, say it to us. Let's hold a meeting. Let's call it a conference. We should be having a conference meeting yearly for the whole continent. We've, not the old South South Africa or Germany. Just 10. Nate, our national coordinator, I spoke to him yesterday. Just take 10, voluntary 10, and say, appoint 10, I mean. Send them. Let this meeting be held on this particular day. Then if our national coordinator and that particular 10 come back home and give us instruction, whoever writes any other rubbish from town on, we know what to do that person. But now the board is open. I fit us. Everybody's writing rubbish in WhatsApp. See, some of them are changing their pictures to me first to face. Some of them are writing anything you said, they will counter you. Some are even warning us without putting anything 
in which I broadcast yesterday, some people place it on WhatsApp. They start to commanding this and commanding that. The other have not been given not to do that. Then I believe now the best way to do is DOS to set up a meeting. I still maintain it. People may think who is this one saying it. I believe it so. I'm in a very strong organization. It may not be too big like IPOB. But when the continental have a problem, they just have to say, okay, what do we do? Chairman, this, 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 let's have a meeting. Whatever out of that meeting is what everybody else will follow. Our leader is not broadcasting now. And we cannot be wondering like this, like a funalist. Somebody should talk to us, not over the radio. We should be hearing you face to face. You should be called, even if it's the whole continental should hold a meeting without ordinary members. Need the continental's rep. Go a meeting, lock themselves up and find a way to sort this thing out. We are tired of reading about each other. And my own brother I just talked to lovely yesterday. He's now attacking me on Facebook just within an hour. Voice note I sent yesterday, which everybody prays, is now being condemned today because of which MFO. We can't control like this. Uche was a deputy, he's a deputy. If people say he's, well, he still recognizes him as a deputy. Let's make it clear. Those who open radios are not a deputy before. This is the first time a deputy of the District of Biafra will open a radio. And whatever he, 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 whether the radio is relevant or not relevant, time will tell. So, but now to quench this fire, let's have a meeting. Let's call the emergency meeting. It may sound so childish, I know what I'm saying. I can tell you now, I, Peter, some people are saying they will not pay money into our national distance. It was a fight. Some people even prepared to their own unit. They will not pay money this place. They will not pay. Who are they paying an energy to? Some people say my, my logic is not within the candidate with which I'm for. People have heard that before. They're still maintaining it now. What of if, if my unit now take decision, pay money to, to IPOB? And the doctor will say, no, don't, if you're going to pay to my IPOB, I don't pay. I want to pay to which I'm for. So somebody should start speaking to us, not over the radio. We are hearing the radio, but certain things must be locked somewhere and discuss it decisively and say, from now on, this is where everybody stands. And that's where it should be. Then if you go contrary to what was said, then we know that it collectively we have agreed because people represent us. Five, seven million people cannot come to the meeting one day, but people represent the that right hand national assembly. Let's do this so that if you give the direction today from now on, nobody should talk about which for radio Biafra. Let's first off, people like no people cry, people like name, people like different places. Now, if we take four or five hours of mass IP task, spending about which for which will not change which of first mind, what did you use here, sir? God bless you. All right, thank you very much. Like I rightly said, um, my opinion, I don't know the, I don't know what the radio station will do for me or break down anybody. Before when we join IPOB, IPOB's radio, Radio Biafra was broadcasting. Everybody is fighting it left, right, and center to make sure that nobody hears it. Today is still still broadcasting. These two shall pass. That's the language I will have to use. Abiyadika, heaven and earth will fall. Nothing will happen. It will all come to pass. The end of the journey is Biafra. I don't care what anybody says on radio. I can even listen to it. The radio stations are everywhere. It does not matter what you say. What I'm going to say, and I said it before, and I'm saying it again. The radio station will die a natural death depending on how you treat it. Not the listeners, because listeners have a choice of listening to you. But when you are not appeasing to them, they will stop listening to you. And when they stop listening to you, you are losing the, you are losing the, the reason why I created the radio. Radio station is not a problem. I am telling you the gospel truth. It is not going to stop me. I, will not, I even want to listen because when I listen to you, then I know how you are thinking where your mind is going. But I bet you, if you open it on good faith, because you love Biafra, you want Biafra to come in, you'll definitely not worry. Because when you start telling us that somebody is, is this, they use the word saboteur. Well, the, the word was created by the same people that are condemning it today. Most of, this, most of us are not very educated. We don't even know what that word means. But when you start using it, you start saying things and you expect when you jump from here, I will follow you. You jump there, I will follow you. Mbano. We have minds of our own. The way I think, it shouldn't be the way you think. That's what I'm saying. I walk out come alone. I don't know how anybody will come and tell me where to put my money. <laughs> how, how possible is that? Oh, don't pay money to this person. 
you just don't want to pay the money anyway. Most of us don't even pay our dues anyway. So I will say, okay, what may be made here? The dues is hard for us to bring out. Then he bring it out. Then somebody against will come and tell you where to put it. That's nonsense. These things are not, they are not, uh, they are not just uh, something that anybody will want to bother itself, bother himself about. All these two will pass. It will come to pass and nothing will happen. Biafra will, will survive whether they like it. Eterzi, Eterotazi. Biafra is here to stay and there is nothing anybody can do about it. That is what I want all of us to realize that Biafra is, 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 is ordained. Nothing can change it. No matter what we do, no matter how much we try, what will be, will get it will be. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. That's what I'm going to tell you about it. All right, I can see the phone is trying to ring, but, but I can't even find a ring. I don't where to, where to answer the phone. Unfortunately, I keep saying I don't like people calling me on this line, especially when I'm talking. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Caller. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon from your Marzi Peters. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. I, I am Rabbi Shaz. I'm calling from my location. I greet their friends all over the world. Friends of Biafra, lovers of freedom, I greet you. Our leader, Mazi Namdekano, I salute you. Mazi Aikitas, please, can I comment on what uh, what I just had now? I I had I had somebody speaking uh, over the radio. I think he could be, it, it is our brother from South Africa, Chidera. Am I correct? That's yeah. through my heart. The last caller, yes. right? Yes, go ahead, sir. Just tell us. Something. Yes, sir. Yes, the last caller. My Chidera, I've said it in. Um, and in private, I, let me say it here, please, please. I I received a voice a clip that was forwarded to me, listening to it, and I just want to say there has been an issue going on in in South Africa there before this thing began, and there are this thing. What is going on in South Africa there has to do with what Ushemefo did prior before. It came to the notice of the whole IPOB family worldwide. Hey Charles, can um, you can you address him privately on this? Because I don't even know no, what is going on in South no, Africa. No, 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 to be no, honest. no, no, sir. I will, I will, I will. There is some. I'm going to somewhere. I am not addressing him. I'm addressing every Biafran feeling uncertain or feeling or somebody coming to look uh, talk up talk about something like there is a problem. There is no problem going on. There is no problem at all. The people are rising up. Somebody will come and if if it's raining in my house in my area, that doesn't mean that it's raining all over uh, all over Africa. Let's say it's raining. We all understand the, the the language or the way rain falls. If it is raining in a in, in, a, in a, maybe at Newi, you may not. You might. You can do the your things and take your uh, perishable items inside. But don't go and call somebody in, in Onisha, not even far from Newi, making it to look like as if it is raining there at Onisha. It's not raining there. It's not raining at Enugu. It's not raining in Owere. The rain is just maybe one little rain at Newi, and somebody is panicking all over. I want to make it clear. If you listen to what a lot of people say, DOS, DOS, they are doing their job. They don't tell you what they do. You can't sit in where you are and know what these people are doing. These people are working very hard. I used to think sometimes, sometimes I can say, because they are only that sometimes it will take them a little while to come and address on certain issue. Some of them, some of them may not be listening to the radio because of the assignment. I see my national sometimes is not even on the radio because it's on assignment. So if if you can if something is going on or somebody maybe somebody went astray because he compromised you are noticing it today this thing has been has been going on and the OS has been tolerating it handling it speaking trying to engage the person for over a year more than a year and this is going on now should you think that maybe you think it's raining all over the world it's not true there is nothing happening in IPOB remain unshakable. I am telling you, my brothers. I called last night at a Chinedu's program. I said, Jara, those that they shared, um, they formed WhatsApp group. 
And some people, you, you, don't, you don't know how OB, IB, OB operates. Some people picked it. Some people can be there to obtain information and know exactly, tell us what is happening. And they did it. Some, most of them are now pulling off, uh, coming on air to make announcements. Some people follow Dushemefo before because they don't understand. They think this thing is so too much now. We are talking of an, a nation. A nation cannot be determined by somebody's just one man's uh, be, pre, demanding and craving. You use one man demanding and craving to decide what is going to happen over a nation. IPOB is not about me. It is not about anybody, anywhere, mountain station or doing. It has to do with a nation. And our leader, Mazin Nandekanu, is determined to, determined to get us what we are looking for. He said it, this will happen. Stay from that time, he said it till the end of the year. Watch what is going to happen. You don't want to pay attention to that. So let let the, let that hell let that hell come down. Let's see that hell. Let that hell come down. If I never been to some certain meetings, I will never be in this place talking. I was in EU. I was in UN. I was there. Nobody is playing anybody games. Some people want to decide that. If it is not from me, let everything come down. Oh, for no go, okay, silly or Rani. Somebody, just one man. Because I'm, I'm in the place where that person is. I am watching everything. You, we talk, we tell you this, you say no. We tell you that, you say no. Let, let, let his hell come. Let's see. Because in the world, we're in, we're in, we're in Manu Yeji. A little thing I know, put this and that. We are, men, look at Fulanese, what they're doing. Look at the level, the high-ranking diplomatic engagement they're doing to counter what is happening. Everybody sees the killings, the massacre in, in Lekki. They saw the uh, the massacre at Obibo. They saw the killing of their friends. They saw the, the destruction of a sin, of the synagogues in the eastern region. A sitting governor said, you don't you don't wear this land. Come and tell us you are Jewish. We get out with that, with that kind of a thing. There is what they call freedom of worship in every constitution. You are free to worship every anything you want to worship. If you are a Jewish man, you are Jewish. You are recognized. But they said no, that Judaism will not be recognized. And that is what gave that man the audacity to go and do destruction on, a syn on synagogues. And people are looking at it. You want me to talk about uh, UMFO and living yes or weekend? And living the killing of of the of Biafran for many years. My my father my father fought Biafra war, and some of them some of them did not make it alive. And they are still doing the same thing. That you carry Biafra flag, you will be tagged the terrorists. But terrorists are busy rampaging, killing people. And they said they are evangelical mission. My Haiti ally is a peacemaking organization that issuing threat and letters. If you are not moved. Then you question your freedom fighting capability, for God's sake. Question it if you're a freedom fighter. If you can't answer this, then back down, like Gideon told other men. If you know that you are afraid, you cannot make this. Just pick your things and go home. 22,000 left him and they went home because they, they confirmed that they were afraid. Thank they you. couldn't face the enemy. Now, only 300 men went and, and did the assignment and did it properly. I will close by this, Marcy. Okay. I beat us. I don't like taking your time, but I have to tell Biafran this. One person, for, for, for the last time, one person, one man cannot determine what is going to happen for Biafran. It's only Biafran and Biafran alone knows their leader. Yes. And our leader is Marcy Nam the Kanon Dewo. I say amen, Thank to, you. I say amen to that. I, I say I agree with you completely on that one. You see, like I said, Ufunye, we're just wasting our time. My own thing is that mathematics, no matter how you've solved the problem, you try to, you have an answer you are going to arrive at. And when you answer that, for me, the answer to this whole thing is Biafra. <laughs> like one thing I want to talk, anyway, let me, let me pick up more call before maybe I use that as, as my closing remark. I have, a, I have a caller on WhatsApp. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, I'm calling from New Delhi. You're breaking. You're breaking. Uh, you're breaking. You're not sound enough. I don't know where is your location because nobody's understand what you're saying. Am I clear now? 
Yes, you are. You are coming up, but you are breaking. You are not smooth. Go ahead, sir. Am I yes, sir. Just talk. Let me see if it's okay. If it's all right. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, this is my new business. I'm from New Delhi. Mars, um, this is the first issue. I have uh, said anything for today. Today, I want to say something regarding the issue. So, Mars, you see, before this thing started, I know and I tell uh, our national coordinator in India, I tell him this is uh, for even other coordinators. Why is it coming online in the night? Only the Jody that will be in the morning, after the morning, after the day, only they will pick up again and stop and come up again in the time. I told them that this is something going on. Why is it coming? They say he is busy, he is busy. He is busy, he is busy. Today, we have seen what the thing that this man has been planning these things for long. Now, as you have a wife. I have a wife. No, no, we have a problem with our wives. They, they didn't mean we go and marry and that wife immediately. Eh? Would you may for have plan to go and open another day? This is a sabotage. And this is over. Oh, this is over. Playing with leader. He want to be an leader. He want to be an leader. That is why he go and open another radio. He have planned this for long. He's not doing this wrong because it's my face a deputy leader of IPOB. Thank you. But he is not doing the job deputy leader. If yeah. he's doing the job, why can't he the foreign military Asian deputy talk to them? Second deputy talk to them. Do the job of deputy. It's not consistent in what we are doing. I haven't seen Utemefo before funding um um Facebook, giving some signals, giving some directions. But he did a wonderful job when our girl was in prison. But does not mean that he will be sabotaging what we are doing. Remember, Ken is a work for me, The man helped the Nigeria during the Biafran War. After the Biafran War, he did another war. They do war. They forget the one he did during the Biafran War and kill him. Because he's a sabot. What would the did? Anybody supporting him? That pet is a sabot. Everybody who knows what is going on in this IPA knows we are in winning. We are we are in winning running way now. We are winning. We are winning. What oh, are listening to us? There's a video you want to play now from the uh, public. Go and see what the white woman are saying. Go and see what these are saying. Our people does not understand the signal. The signal of our brother in in Jewish during the Gaddafi war. They know the neighborhood. It went to Israel. And they discuss with them. Also, our leader did it today. They are helping one with the other. Thank you. Okay, again, our Reverend Father, our Catholic. Many of my friends, they have an issue with their wives. The family can talk. The daughter can talk no way. But when they bring their Reverend Father, God is short. Is good news. God is short. Let me take a moment. Eh? I say, cut it very short. Just round all right, it. All right, round all right. It. What, yes, when a, a reverend father interviewed, may for have planned to leave by POB. So our people should not think they have not planned it. They have planned to leave by POB for long. And they have been doing something wrong. Those plan to bring him back or whatever. May for have something in his mind. He let him come out and say what he has in mind. Thank you. All right, all, right, all, right. all right, I have a call coming in and let me take this one. Maybe it's gonna be the last call. A uh, caller on uh, signal. Are you there? Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Thank you very much. Good afternoon from here. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. My name is Pastor Jack. I'm calling from Lagos. Good morning, afternoon, evening, dear fellow, dear friends and lovers of freedom all around the world. I just want to rise to the afternoon discussion from here. Uh, first of all, uh, of the truth, Everybody is entitled to his own opinion. And I'm also, uh, this platform is uh, for BFR, and they we are in a struggle. We are not in a formal setting anywhere. Yes. So that is to say, uh, we, more of, uh, we more of talk or uh, our view most of the time on this platform because it is not uh, 
normal setting where maybe sometimes we might be cut off, or, but at the same time we might also be uh, we might also be be, be also guided as well. But that does not stop us from uh, in our view. She said, "I want to start from a uh, uh, from my uh, okay. I want to start from the from the line where I want to head to. First of all, call is array. We don't know where we are going." I want to tell our our people, I IPPT is not true. That is false. Nobody is wandering anywhere. IPOB is going and going very well. Why did I say so? First of all, I have said most time I say some to let us understand that in any fiction there is bound to be up ups and down. He said, "I will say write a vision and make it plain upon the table that it may run." He said, this vision is for appointed times. He said, well, for it, it might tarry. So the, the period of is the period of tribulation and all that intention and the storm and all that. Now, actually, released a memo formally addressing every man their, their stand about this whole issue. Uh, uh, everybody might have his opinion, but the truth remains that, that the, the, uh, the central body of this struggle has given us a light that we are IPOB is going and their stand on this whole issue. And anybody coming on air to say they are wallowing, that is not suicidal to be convinced. Two, if you don't pay your dues or any levy or whatsoever payment in your various units or zone as they, you do not know that you don't know where to pay it and not that truth. Three, uh, DOS, people should stop saying, like Tira said, they are controlling Mars and the Carlo. We, we are in a struggle, number one. We, we set a platform for ourselves that we gravitate into what we are pursuing. And if we by ourselves utter, utter that, we might not be able to get to where we are going to. What am I trying to say? Man, as our leader, do not necessarily impose every decision on If he comes up with a decision that is IP and true advice to the DOS, which any other person can also advise, you can submit a memoranda or advice to the DOS. And if it is good, it might be implemented. And that does not suggest to the fact that you are controlling the DOS. Remember, we decided to set up DOS in order to use them as the decision, highest decision making body so that we can be able to get to where we are going to. And we will stop anybody from influencing or hijacking this struggle. Not that any person must have to control the DS. Now, that is one. Two, uh, we are, I am more here personally to attack Uchime for or anybody. But the truth here remains. If you want to leave this situation, but if for any reason, and if you attack our leader or the struggle, we will attack you. That is just the truth. We stop hyping that. And many people have died in this struggle. Many things have happened. Now, I'm talking to you. Fire in the wheelchair. This is the third most which you are aware. Not that much have been done or what, but stuff. So tomorrow, if I feel whatsoever e treatment or whatsoever e I have and drug does not stop the movement of IPOB. And that, that does not worry me or to be the opinion I might have as a person. And, the, and, and another one is we still this issue of uh, you have to, to ra- you have to round it up. Your, your network is now uh, functioning very well.
we should be we should we should be factual and not be sentimental. If DOS has issued a memo, that means our left is aware of such memo and is a formal memo, not individual that issued it. And for that remains the case until any day that is our leader make acts concerning this issue. Every other thing remains the way it is and at your is going for thank you much like peter thank you very much thank you very much all right uh, thank you so much uh, i think that brings an end to this uh, phone phone conversations i have to, to shut out shut down the the phone lines uh because uh, our time is up it's up and up i have to go because marzi alozi is coming in so like i was saying my line of thoughts was that we don't we have to not forget there are so many things we are we're demanding and we're demanding in the sense that we're looking at it as if Biafra is already here and that we are, it's a political party that we are on. No, it's not true. This is a freedom fighting unit. We've not gotten our, our freedom yet. And God knows we're going to get it regardless. And we are doing our best. And the leaders, our leaders are doing what they think they can do best. That is the point. What I, somebody had accused me of not uh, uh, respecting uh, memo sent by uh, DOS. No, I did not. You're, you're making a mistake if you think. I don't think that way at all. I respect authorities and I know that whatever they are doing, I am not with them. They, I know they are working. If they are not working, they will not be there. That's my own conviction. Another thing is that the person that called, like I said, that's what I said, when you want to speak, don't be overexcited. Because when you get overcited, you start exaggerating. And I will not allow that to happen. Because a memo was sent. I read the memo in its entirety, the way it was sent. And I told you, signed by head of the directorate, Chika Iduziem. Now you call in to say, our leader signed. Our leader did not sign anything. That does not mean that I'm undermining the authority of the DOS. No, absolutely not. If you didn't, if you said it the way it was said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even talk about it because I know you are correct. I was only trying to correct an impression because you are overexcited. You want to exaggerate. You don't want to make the thing look like it's uh, uh, fire and thunder. No, that's not the way it is done. I don't go for that. You can do that on your own personal your opinion. It's, it does, your opinion does. But when you're quoting something, if I say something now, you're trying to quote me and you quote me wrongly, I'm going to stop you. Say, hey, 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 that's not what I said. Even if our leader says something and you want to quote it and you quote it out of context, I'll say, no, this is not the way he said it. That's the way I am and that's, that's the way it is. Uh, we have to be very careful. Like I said, don't get overexcited because if I was, we are all fighting for the We are going to the same direction. Just like some people are driving by train and some people think they can do it by marathon and some people think they know how to spin them faster than other people. In the long run, what we're talking about is going to be Biafra. Biafra is what we need, and regardless of what you say, Riteji Etelotazi, Biafra is here to stay with us. Don't forget, I still have to remind you that Biafra is our religion, and Radio Biafra is where we worship. From me to you, it's goodbye. I'll see you again tomorrow, but swelling. From here. Come do your worst.
governors, Isura's out, evil kings, hungry fools, slave kings, shameless fools, brought evil men to careful land, a holy land, a blessed land, so kill us all, then you will fade, I build, Biafra rising. Oh, this is, oh, this is your shit. This year, I say this year, I say freedom for me, for you, weaker, stand up, he do, he got a kiss in our hands, we open, we enter, this year, those of you know us, the kings, miss blood, fighting us.